Good morning, everyone. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. As my good friend, Xavier Hawk says, <laughs> welcome to Walkie Talkie, guys. This morning, I've been reflecting on this past year. And in that reflection, I just was thinking of all the uh, amazing new relationships that I was able to develop this year. And a lot of that is thanks to uh, Jack Spearco because he decided that he wanted to start this um, podcast called Unloose the Goose. And, you know, as a side effect, I got to make a lot of great new friends. You know, one of them is Xavier Hawk. I don't know if you've ever listened to his little spoof called a uh, b b bass line, but it is the bomb and I love how he greets everybody in that it's it's so loving and um you know he's so funny and he's very serious about what he's talking about and it's important you know so if you haven't checked it out check it out um but I'm just appreciating all the wonderful new relationships that I've developed this year so Shout out Jack Spearco. Thank you for coming up with this big idea of Unloose the Goose. And thanks for Nicole Sauce for managing the uh, coordination and logistics and all that good stuff. And so many other wonderful friendships that I've made there. Anyway... just basking in appreciation this morning for relationships. All the wonderful new relationships this year. And you know, we're constantly talking about how to exit and build. These are the strategies that we're teaching on Unloose the Goose. And what an appropriate time. (laughs) <laughs> the timing is perfect. The universe saw to that, right? The universe has our back. It's always just loving us. Always has our best interest at heart. Right now, as the golden age rolls in and these dark ages roll out, there's a lot of chaos and confusion going on. And amidst all the chaos and confusion, there are people who are intentionally Manipulating things. But you could just choose not to participate. You know? You've got to know what you want and why you want it. What do you want? Why do you want it? Have you ever thought about that? What do you want? When you're operating based on what you want and why you want it, then that's called deliberate creation. Deliberate creation. You are purposefully, intentionally, deliberately focusing on what you want and why you want it. And there are people right now I want you to believe that if you are walking in this clarity that you are not a compassionate person you are selfish 
They might have other bad words. I don't know. What I know is that if you don't walk in a direction with integrity, knowing what you want and why you want it, you're not going to get very far and be happy. Guys, life is supposed to be good to you. It's supposed to be fun for you. And the only way for that to happen is if you are operating in clarity and you know what you want and you know why you want it. I want you to think about that. There are people today, they're doing this thing, it's called linguistics theft. You might have heard me talking about this before. Linguistics theft. It's part of the way that they're managing the social engineering. This brainwashing of the population. I know these are some strong words and a lot of people don't like them. But the truth is that that is what's going on. When you have a society (laughs) in which they say things like, Oh, you're not compassionate. You're not a caring person. You should be canceled. First of all, how are you canceling somebody and considering yourself to be compassionate or caring at the same time? The hypocrisy. (laughs) The hypocrisy. What a freaking joke, man. I think that it's hilarious. Right now, these linguistics thieves, they're taking words that mean one thing and tricking everybody into believing that they mean something else. Who are they fooling exactly? I mean, they must be fooling a whole bunch of people because we have this entire cancel culture. And the only thing I can figure is that you have all these young folks who are lacking guidance from their elders, you know, maybe because they are being raised on, on YouTube videos or something, but I don't, I'm not really clear. Um, it's the only thing that makes sense to me is that, you know, if you want to know how to do something, you know, you can pretty much YouTube it, which is fun. Cool. Pretty exciting stuff, man. And it's wonderful for anybody who doesn't have um, anyone in their lives that can help them. Man, technology is is wonderful. Um, But let us not forget, just because you decided you don't want the word pedophile to be inclusive. I mean, you you don't like the word pedophile. This is what's going on, you guys, with this linguistics theft. Let me give you an example. Right now, some crazy person out there has the audacity. They got the nerve to say something like, you know, we shouldn't use the word pedophile anymore. It's not, it's not nice. It's not nice to call people pedophiles because, you know, it's not an inclusive term. I'm like, really? That's damn right. It's not inclusive. In fact, it's quite discriminating. And as a loving and compassionate being, 
I'm discriminating. I have a standard. I know. I'm not supposed to have a standard. See, this is going back to the programming, the social engineering, the conditioning, the programming, guys, the brainwash programming. They're saying <laughs> that to be a compassionate, loving human being, you're not supposed to be discriminating. They've also kind of changed everything. I mean, they've made discrimination like literally a hot topic, bad word, button word, like trigger word, triggers. The fact that you guys even know anything about triggers, trigger words, that's evidence of the brainwashing. When you brainwash people, there's trigger words. Did you know that? It is what. That's how you refer to the hot button words that are used for exactly the purpose of brainwashing. Trigger words. So, discriminating, discrimination, trigger words. But you know what? For me to be a loving, compassionate human being, excluding the word pedophile for the sick criminals that are violating children to feel more inclusive is just something I'm not willing to do. I'm not willing or prepared or ever going to participate in that lie. I'm never going to do it. Why? Why am I not going to do that? Here comes the sun, guys. Here comes the sun. Look at that. Look at that. The well-being is everywhere. You see that? It's gorgeous. That's some powerful medicine right now. Go outside and face east. <sighs> Linguistics theft. Linguistics theft. I refuse to participate. I refuse to stand for it. I'm going to call it out. Somebody has to call it out. I am absolutely not going to start changing the way that we use our language. And don't dare call me, you know, all kinds of bad names as a side effect of that. I operate in truth. We have to walk in truth and integrity if you don't have truth and integrity, what are you walking in? That goes back to that thing, you know, like, what do you want? Why do you want it? What do you want? And why do you want it? Do you even know? Do you know? What do you want and why do you want it? What do you want and why do you want it? <sighs> that is the question of the day. Questions. Questions of the day. Linguistics theft. You know the other word that they're trying to steal and, you know. I mean, all of these things that they're doing, they're doing it in an effort to dehumanize us. That's what they're doing. What do you think the masks are for? This mark of the beast. It's definitely not a safety precaution. It's not, there's no emergency going on. It's not for safety, okay? What's happening right now is the next great human extinction. This is the best time 
This is the best of times. You were born for this time. You were born for this time. There's a lot of things we have to reconcile, guys. A lot of things. Mostly, I think we can start with this whole, you know, business of the linguistics theft. You can't start just changing what words mean and how you use the language. You know? What's this nonsense, you know? Everybody's all like pronouns. First of all, let me just tell you something. A lot of this chaos and confusion that's happening, it is because we have gone, we've come so far away. We have come so far away from nature. You know, this science thing that everybody keeps throwing out there. Science is the study of nature. Let's just never forget that, okay? Do not forget, science is the study of nature. And nature has grace. And nature has this all figured out. Nature operates in, in universal law. Nature is a universal law. And guess what? This is a loving universe. There's no opposite of love. Love is the divine solvent of everything. Love is the divine solvent of everything. You have to be discriminating, guys. If you want to be loving, compassionate human beings, you have to be discriminating because that is what you're doing when you are deciding what you want and why you want it. How do you, how do you decide what you want and what you want, why you want it? What do you want and why do you want it? How do you know that? The only way to know that is to know what you don't want. If you know what you do want, then you know what you don't want. And that, in and of itself, is effectively you discriminating between what you want and what you don't want. So, therefore, I am absolutely a discriminating person because I am establishing and knowing what I want and why I want it, which means that I know what I don't want and why I don't want it. And that is okay. And that is what's required. That is what is required. This is the work, people. This is the work. Might sound too simplistic. It might sound too simplistic. What? I'm supposed to know what I want? I'm supposed to know why I want it? Yes, guys, that's the why. That is your why. That is the reason that you get up in the morning and want to do anything. Oh, you don't get up in the morning? Oh, you mean you just don't, you get up in the morning and you do all this stuff and you're running in this race, this rat race, and you're not doing what you want. Is that what it is? Is that what's going on? Listen, what's going on right now is the world, you know, our earth is shifting. Everybody is going to need to raise their vibration. Did you know that we're vibrational beings? Yeah. Did you know we're electrical beings? This isn't about chemistry, friends. This is about vibration. This is about electricity. This is about energy. You're not allowed to know that. You're not allowed to know this. You're not allowed to know that the best way for you to gain and, and re regenerate and restore and invigorate your life-giving force is to Allow the regeneration, the regeneration, the restoration of your energy. If you're operating under standard of care for your medical care, for your health care, that's called death care. We aren't chemistry projects, guys. We're not. We are electrical beings. So be careful what you're putting in your mouth, in your body. What are you 
violating your sacred bloodstream with. Yeah, I said it. Why are you violating your sacred bloodstream for any reason whatsoever? Even a five-year-old knows you don't want to stab something into your body. It's a bad idea, guys. It's a bad idea, and it's never a good idea. It's a bad idea, and it's never a good idea. Don't let any person, regardless of their credentials that are given to them by some other man, okay? These credentials that everybody's putting so much value in, they're credentials that are given to some man because some other man decided that that is worthy. That's what's called worthy. Look at the sunshine. Why are you letting some one man define your worthiness? You were born worthy beyond belief. You are liquid love. You don't need somebody to give you some paper or some accolade to let you know that you're worthy beyond belief. Stop it. This is another, I mean, I guess that's not really linguistics theft. But they are establishing that you're not a good person if you're discriminating, which is the reason why everybody is trying right now or has been for a while to walk some line and never draw a line in the sand and never choose a side. Yeah, you know, that's part of the brainwash programming. Don't choose a side. Guess what? If you don't choose a side, you don't know what you want. If you don't know what you want, you don't know why you want it. You you know, you don't know what you don't want. You don't know why you don't want it. You're just walking in chaos and in confusion. Or you are walking on somebody else's agenda because you need somebody to tell you what to do because you don't know what you want to do. Are you kidding me? You are a creator. You get to create your own life. What are, what are these people doing? They're programming you in schools, right? Schools. The industrial educational complex, which is spitting out all these dehumanized robots who are programmed to believe they aren't worthy unless they're doing a good job for somebody else earning an accolade or a ribbon or an award high five gotta win something all the time you already won you don't need to win you already won you're already a winner you're already a winner can you please just remember who you are I guess that's what I was supposed to say this morning. Remember who you are because you're already a winner. You don't need somebody to tell you you're a winner. I don't know. I'm really hoping if you are not currently operating in your full power because you aren't feeling that you have permission to know what you want, why you want it, and then just do what you want. Yeah, I forgot. You're not allowed to do what you want, right? You're not allowed to do that because somebody told you this is not your world. You don't get to just do what you want. That's what they said, right? You're not allowed to just do what you want. You got to do what I say. <laughs> Isn't that convenient? Who gets to decide who the decider is? <laughs> that was funny, right? Y'all, 
You're the decider. It is your world. This is your world. (laughs) This is your life experience. You came here on purpose to be a creator and experience the seeing, the smelling, the tasting, the touching experience of life on the leading edge. That's why you're here. That's why you're here. You came here on purpose. You came here on purpose. What are you going to do now that you're here? What do you want to do? You got to know what you want, man. You got to know what you want. And you got to know why you want it. Which requires you to be discriminating. You have to be able to discriminate between what you want and what you don't want. So you can move forward in what you want. It's not bad. It's not... Listen, if you're not operating selfishly, if I don't take care of myself first, selfishly, if I don't selfishly take care of myself first, I have nothing to give anybody else. I have nothing to give. How can I love somebody else if I don't even love myself? The lies the programming. Break out of it, guys. What are you going to do today to break out of this programming? What are you going to do? Just do one thing. You don't need to listen. You don't need to beat yourself up. Everybody was programmed. Everybody was programmed because it's always, there's always somebody out there trying to pillage your village. Tristan Haggard said one time, he said, somebody always trying to pillage your village. (sighs) Here I go appreciating all my, all my friends this morning. Shout out Tristan and Jessica Haggard in Ecuador. (sighs) Living their best life, raising their amazing family out there, free and independent thinkers and creators. Controlling all aspects of their life. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna live or die trying. That's what they're gonna do. That's what you should do. Live or die trying. What is going on? <sighs> Linguistics theft. Trying to make pedophile a word. That they think that we should accept pedophiles. They're trying to say that we should accept pedophiles. Because they're not feeling included. It's not an inclusive word. Guess what? That's because they're sick criminals. They're sick criminals. That's why. If you don't do anything else today, I want you to start being discriminating. You know what? When you're being discriminating, it doesn't mean you're not loving. When you're being discriminating, it means that you're loving so much that you know what you want and why you want it. If you know what you want and why you want it, then you have something to give the world. Then you can do something great, be someone great. You can't do that if you're a dehumanized programmed doer of everybody else's things. People don't want to pick a side. They don't want to choose a side um, for fear of choosing the wrong side. Listen, if it's your side, it's not the wrong side. If it's your side, it's not the wrong side. I don't have to agree with your side. I can be on my side and you can be on your side and we can joyfully be on the wrong side of anything. Did you know that? And it's okay. It's okay. I don't want everybody out there who doesn't agree with me to just die. I mean, come on. If you don't agree with me, then just go play on your playground over there. As long as you're not hurting anybody and you're not hurting me, I don't care what you're doing over there. 
that is the beauty of this world. The vast tapestry of this universe is, is what we're here for. We're here for the variety of experiences. I might not want, want to do what you want to do. Why would you restrict yourself to my limits? Why would you do that? Don't do that. I don't want you to do that. Don't restrict yourself to my limits. I mean, shoot, I'm sure not going to restrict myself to yours. I'm not. There, I told you. We can still love each other. I have nothing but great love for everyone out there. I really don't have anything but great love for everyone out there. Somebody told me that because I said I don't care, that's my thing, you know, I have t-shirts that say I don't care on them. And on the back it says there is great love here for you. And I've been told I'm being a hypocrite. No, I'm not. I mean, I love you so much, I don't care what you think. I mean, I love you so much, I want you to do whatever it is that you want to do. And I'm just going to love you and watch you from over here. I don't have to do everything that you're doing. And you don't have to do everything I'm doing. If all of us did the same thing, we wouldn't have all the things that we need for this world to be so great. Oh man, it's a good morning. It's a great morning. I'm going to start coming coming out here and going live. Well, I'm not really live right now, but I'll start doing it. I just, honestly, when I come out here in the morning, I don't feel like being on a piece of equipment. But it's time. It's time. I know I've been kind of starting and spitting and stalling with this whole thing mainly because my morning time is something I just love to, to kind of hold on to for myself but when you got crazy people out there with this linguistics theft trying to normalize a word like pedophile you know what else they're doing they're trying to adulterate the word regenerate. Yeah. That's another thing. It's hilarious. You got these, I don't know what you call them, life coaches, health coaches, somebody out there trying to push some Costco plant-based malnourishing program on you. And they're calling it regenerative. Guess what? You can't have plants without animals. And you don't have to agree with me on the fact that I happen to know that your animal cells are made out of animal fat. You don't even have to agree with me at all when I say... We're supposed to be carnivore, not vegan, okay? This isn't about any of those <sighs> labels, okay? I shouldn't say you're supposed to be carnivore because I'm not allowed to use language as it's meant to be used, apparently. <sighs> it's exhausting. That's how you know what's going on right now is nonsense. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. You know what's not exhausting? Knowing what you want and why you want it. That's not exhausting. When you're living a masterful life, you're walking in your full power. It is filled with ease and flow. The only time that the struggle is real is when you are operating as a slave, when you are operating in your most fragile self or as your most fragile self. 
I would like to encourage you all to walk towards robust mindset, robust health, robust physical levels, pushing yourself somewhere in a direction towards a robust life. Can you do that? If you're going to do that, that would require you not to allow the slave self to continue to exist. You need to shed the slave self. That's what this programming is for. The programming is to hold you in your slave self. They've programmed everybody to walk and operate as a slave and they don't want you to master your life. They don't want you to be the master of your life. They don't want you to be the master of your life. Are you going to allow that? Are you going to allow that? Don't. Don't do it. Bravery, not obedience. Get some real food, guys. Get some regenerative meat. And regenerative meat is all it is. There's no regenerative plant. There's no regenerative plant. Okay, yeah. Plants are regenerating only because of the seeds that are planted and the energy that's massaged into the soil by the animals. So, yes. And, yes, our cows need the pastures that are growing because the cows are massaging the soil. They're walking the earth and they're massaging and they are, their energy is activating the ancient seed beds. And it is restoring soil, which is supporting the aquifers, which is allowing us to have water, which this very fragile, delicate, symbiotic relationship between the soil and these and the livestock matters. Let me tell you something. Nobody's raising livestock as a pet. So they're not going to have the cows massaging the soil, walking the pastures, eating all the grasses, migrating in those ways. If they have to manage them with husbandry, why do you think the buffalo used to run wild? Why do you think all of these large beasts of the planet ran wild and migrated in various migratory patterns? Established by nature, by the way, beautifully, in a dance where the abundance was massive. There were, you know, those herds used to be miles long and miles wide. It used to take weeks for a herd of buffalo to come through your patch of land and get all the way through your area to go to the next area. Weeks. It took them weeks to do it. Well, at least more than 10 days. That is the power and abundance that nature has. The fencing took care of that. Squashed, squashed that. Created all kinds of problems with that. So, anyway. Now, with regenerative agriculture, we're working to reestablish those migratory patterns with mob grazing so that we can reactivate these ancient seed beds. And the sooner everybody realizes it, the sooner we can have more animals doing that. (laughs) 
Let's shed the slave self, folks. Let's shed the slave self. I guess I've talked a lot this morning. <sighs> really would like to see people shedding the slave self. And I really would like to see that people are seriously like... Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> choosing to know what they want and why they want it. What they want and why they want it. And don't be fooled by this linguistics theft. Be conscious of it. Be aware of it. And decide not to accept and participate with the madness that comes along with that. trying to normalize crazy words. No. Be discriminating, guys. Be discriminating in choosing what you want, why you want it. Be discriminating in the people that you choose to surround yourself with because there's no reason for you to participate in this life experience with people who aren't supporting what you want and why you want it. They should be loving you and supporting you where you're at. And if they don't want to be loving and supporting where you're at, they can go to their own playground. I mean, that's okay. Everybody doesn't have to support the same one somebody. But you got a lot of nerve trying to cancel them or hate them. There's no reason to be a hater, okay? There's no reason to be a hater or a canceler of people you don't agree with. How about you just focus on what you like and what you want and what you what you want to do? You don't need to hate the people who are doing things that you don't want to do. Just focus on what you what you want to do. Focus on what you want. Did you know if you start paying attention to and discriminatingly only focus on the things that you want to focus on that as a side effect of that all the things that you want will more powerfully come more easily into your life in the ways that you want that want it to I mean it's logical it's called momentum guys when you are putting energy only in the direction of what it is that you want and you know why you want it it's only logical that it'll more easily come into manifestation for you faster everything that you do will become your reality that's why we say you get to create your own reality that's our superpower it's only our superpower if we focus and we do it it's only our superpower if we choose it so Choose it. Choose yourself. Choose it. Know what you want and why you want it. All right, guys? All right, that's all I got for you. Have a, have a blessed day, and I will see you. I will talk to you again soon.